basic alpha clip or clip mask or stencil mask transparency. So we're going to assume that we have our object UV mapped and a material is already assigned, albeit a basic one. So in material properties, there's our preview. We want to scroll right down to the bottom. Settings, expand. We want to make sure that blend mode in this particular instance, because we are doing a specific type of transparency, we want this to be alpha clip. You can then set the clip threshold. We'll explain this in a minute. So set that to 0.5. And then the next step, shading workspace. So there is our basic material and object. So we have our principal BSDF as normal and material output. So material properties, preview. Again, settings so that we can check and edit this whilst we are in Shading Works. So to this, we want to add an image texture node. Add texture, image texture. Drop that into place. Click open and load in our image. And in this case, it's going to carry an alpha channel that's going to act as our clip mask. So there it is. Select, open image, color output, to base color input. That defines our diffuse in terms of what we see. And then because this image carries an alpha channel with it, so it's included with the image, we link alpha output to alpha input. And because of the type of transparency and the blend mode that we've set, we've got a clip mask. In other words, we can now change the threshold to change how sensitive the threshold is. So basically that's the threshold between when something is rendered or transparent. So it's a binary, it's either transparent or it's opaque. 0.5 is the median. So that's basic clip mask based transparency.